It should come as no surprise to you now that we've used our right hand rule to decide the direction of the magnetic field. We're going to give you the equations and formula to figure out the magnitude of the magnetic field caused by a current carrying wire. This is in the case of a straight wire. In the case of the straight wire, the magnetic field magnitude is given by mu naught, that's a new constant, times the current, as you imagine, more current, more field, and the distance divided by 2 pi r. The further away you are, the weaker the field would be. The conception here is, say you have a current uh, going into the page, say, and you are a certain point that's r away from the wire itself, you'll get a certain magnetic field whose direction is given by the right hand rule as it goes all the way around. But in this particular point, it's as far away, so it has a magnetic field that, in this case, goes downwards at this spot. If you want to talk at this spot, it becomes sideways, right? And given the I, we can figure out the size of the B, or the magnetic field. To relate everything, there's this constant, and this constant is given by 4 pi times 10 to the minus 7. The unit is put together so you get Tesla in the end, so you multiply by meter to cancel out the meter underneath, and the amps to cancel out the amp on top, and it's exactly 4 pi times 10 to the minus 7. So the rest is just plugging numbers in. We have R being 0.5 meters, we have the current, pi is a constant, we have that constant, so we're just trying to get the magnetic field caused by this wire that carries lots and lots of current because there's lots and lots of current needed to power a submarine. Units of course all work out and it's really as simple as that. which is part A. And you'll notice, compared to Earth, we're skipping over to um, part C already, the field of the Earth is roughly 5 times 10 to the minus 5 Tesla in most places on the Earth. So this is about 10 times the magnetic field of the Earth. So as you can imagine, this would strongly affect the compass that the submarine uses. So you need some kind of way to essentially cancel out this magnetic effect or else the compass on your submarines won't work. And that's what part B is about. If you put the wire to and from side by side, here's what's going to happen. You have one current going into the page and then another current coming back out. And they must be the same current because if you draw the schematic diagram, say here's a big giant battery, you have current going in, and then you have the big giant motor to get your summary moving, and then you have this current coming back out. If you make this cross section, that's what we're seeing here. There's I1, there's I2. And what happens is you look at a point out here, they're roughly the same distance away from each of the wires, current being the same, the magnetic field magnitude is the same, but using the right hand rule for I1, we put our thumb into the page, curl around, we get B1 looking like this. B2, thumb points out of the page, it coils the other way, there's B2. So it all cancels out in the case of having the two opposite current right beside each other. So when you add up these two magnetic fields, the B total, which is B1, plus b2 using the vector sign, you must add up to zero, and that's part b. And so as long as you arrange your wires in a smart way, the magnetic effects can cancel out, and it wouldn't affect your compass on your ship if you do it properly. Last bit of trivia, to make this happen, what is often done is we use these 
coaxial cable so that the cable is built that has an inner core where the current can go in. Outside of that core, we have another wire that's isolated from the original wire and the current comes back on the outside, making it exactly like that. And this is called coaxial cable. It's very common for TV signal because not only does this prevent magnetic field from coming out, it also shields it from picking up extra magnetic field as well, making sure that your TV gets a clear signal. Bit of a tangent, but coming back, it's a demonstration of using this formula for the magnetic field caused by a straight wire current.